for more on that and much more, let me turn to William Lee, Chief Economist at the Milken Institute. Bill, we've had Tesla's Elon Musk, Apple's Tim, Tim Cook, JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon, Starbucks CEO, CEO, and now we have Bill Gates. What is going on? Why is everyone going to China now? I think this is a demonstration of how integrated China is in the global economy, especially with the United States. And I think it's very significant that President Xi met with Bill Gates of all of these leaders, because I think he's trying to emphasize that we need a multifaceted interrelationship that goes beyond business, uh, philanthropy, a reduction of poverty, improving the discovery of drugs, which we at the Milken Institute also do through Fast Cures, which we would also like to extend into China. So I think these are the elements I think that President Xi is trying to emphasize, is that China is for the rest of the world beyond business. It is about getting a better life for everyone. And of course, COVID restrictions have been lifted. I'm sure that also plays a role here. Oh, absolutely. In fact, the, the reopening of China to post-COVID environment is a well-anticipated uh, event. And I think people are worried a little bit about how the recovery seems to be faltering. But I think uh, as, as China gets its policy act together, and tries to boost growth again and try to alleviate some of those hiccups that it's encountering, the world anticipates that China will rejoin the global economy as it was before. And I just want to ask you a question about the really personal relationship between these two men, between Xi and, uh, and Gates. Certainly, President Xi did not personally meet with all these other business leaders who went to China, but he did meet personally with Bill Gates. Absolutely. And, and again, that's a, a, another way of emphasizing that the people-to-people -people contact with China and the United States is absolutely critical, regardless of what goes on in the political world or in any other facet of the relationship. Uh, the, the key is to maintain and increase people-to-people -people relationship, and that's what's being emphasized with the visit with Bill Gates and President Xi. So as you know, China's economy has surged with COVID restrictions uh, gone, but youth unemployment is oh. stubbornly high. Why is that? You know, one of the hardest things uh, for any modern economy or any economy transiting to a modern economy is to find adequate employment for all its people. And the most difficult right now in, in an economy that is going from light manufacturing to high value added uh, tech industries is to find adequately trained people. And a lot of the people coming out of the Chinese universities now have to get better training in the new types of technology that are being employed in China now, and, and, and also to be ready to develop the new technologies. And youth unemployment right now at 20% is absolutely unacceptable, and I think a lot of policy is being moved to address this problem. All right, we'll leave it there. William Lee, as always, thank you.